What's up, party people? Android Stud here, and I have the Pocophone F1, and it is running the newest Pixel 4 XL ROM. Now, I know you saw the video of the features on the Pixel 4 XL ROM on the Pocophone, and it runs great, but now I'm gonna show you how to install this bad boy. This has the little buddy here, little Pokemon wallpaper. If you wanna change it, you can change it. Pretty cool, pretty nifty, pretty neat. But anyway, you can check out my video on that up there so you can check out the full features from this ROM on the Pocophone F1. Now, the first thing you wanna do, now you're gonna need three files and you're gonna need the latest twerp recovery from twerp. Now you're gonna need that and I'll show you now why. You're gonna need three files. You're gonna need the firmware, the Android 10. You're gonna need the system, the Pocophone XL ROM itself, and then you're gonna need the vendor image, okay? Now you're gonna install all th three of these suckers here in twerp. Now I'm in twerp, so make sure you're on the latest twerp. I'll leave a link down to the twerp that you need. Also, the three files that you're gonna need, I'll put them down in the description. Now, you're gonna need these three files here, like I said, the firmware, the system, and the vendor. And then, what you wanna do is, you want to make sure you're logged out of all your Google accounts, any fingerprint, any security, any pin, because you don't want to get locked out. So what you, first thing you want to do is you want to go into wipe, then advanced wiped, and then you want to pick Davlek, cache, system, vendor, and then data. Don't wipe eternal storage, you don't need to do that. Then you just wipe it away, like that. It takes a couple seconds, go back out, install. Now you want to select your firmware, there, add another zip, do your system, add another zip, do your vendor, okay? So you're gonna have three files that you're gonna load up and then you just swipe, let all that load up. Now, when you reboot, it's gonna get stuck on a Google logo. Wait about five minutes and then do a hard reboot. Hard reboot is you just hold down the, vo the uh, power button until it reboots and it's real easy. But I'll show you here in this video, but we're gonna let, go ahead and let all three of these install, the firmware, the system, and the vendor. And I'll be back in a few, not even, the trick of TV. I'll be back now. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> all right, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna reboot the system. And it's gonna tell you there's no OS installed. Don't worry about it, it's there. Cross your fingers, hope to die. And then, uh, no, hope to live, sorry about that. And then it's gonna reboot. And like I said, it's gonna get stuck on the Google logo. Don't worry about it, it will uh, get stuck. As you can see there, there is the Google logo. Let me turn down the lighting so it's not as, it's gonna stay there, it's gonna get stuck there. But the magic of TV, I'll show you now. Okay, so I've been gone for five minutes, but the trick of TV or YouTube, I'm back right away. Now, it's stuck on the, on the Google logo like I told you, but don't worry. Just hit that power button, hold it down like that until it reboots, like so. Should take a few seconds. Now you see it's gonna reboot, it's gonna go to the Poco logo, and then it's gonna go to the Google logo and then it will boot up into your beautiful Pixel 4 XL ROM on the Poco phone, which is kind of cool that they're able to make this stuff for us. This is totally pixelized. You're gonna get all the features of the Pixel 4, Pixel 4 XL. Most of them, you don't get the 90 Hertz. You don't get tap to wake. You don't get the ambient display, but you don't get the motion sense. Obviously those are, uh, what do you call it? Hardware things. So there you go, we're in. We're good, and all you gotta do is set it up, and then you're good to go, and you have the Pixel 4 XL ROM on your Pocophone F1. Now, I've been running it for a couple days. I actually use my phone, I actually use my Pocophone. It doesn't just sit on my desk and I use another phone, I actually use this sucker. So, it's been running pretty good, battery's been pretty good, it's been running nice, it's smooth. There are some things here and there that I did notice, but nothing major, no major bugs like, Everything pretty much works pretty good. Now listen, thank you so much for watching this video. Now remember, you gotta have the latest twerp. I'll put the files down below in the description. Also, you're gonna need the firmware. You're gonna need the Pixel 4 XL ROM. And you're also gonna need the vendor image. You're gonna have to flash all three of those. You're gonna have an unlocked bootloader. 
you gotta have twerp and you gotta know what you're doing but if you have this video you got the stud to help you out anyway thanks so much for watching follow me on twitter at android stud also on instagram if you got any questions leave them down below or hit me up on the gram on the, or on the twitters i'll be right back at you thanks so much for watching subscribe to the video like this video and peace party people